Hello, and welcome to my redstone test world. Here I explore what is possible with redstone, and try and create some cool devices of my own. Today I thought I'd take a look at this screen device I've created. I don't exactly know what to call it, though, so I thought I'd do a quick demo, and then maybe ask you guys what you would call it. Alrighty, let's hop into it. As you can see, this device has gone through multiple iterations. The final version is actually this one right here. However, it's a bit hard to write the inputs and see the screen at the same time, so for the sake of the video, I'm using an exact replica with the busing brought around to the front. Let's get started on the demonstration. I'll begin by selecting an X coordinate on the input area here. Let's start with 8 as well as a Y coordinate in this tower right here. Let's choose 8 as well. As you can see, nothing has changed on the screen. And that's because it's waiting for us to write it using this white button. I'll do that, and as you can see, 0.88 has been selected. Now, we can remove these two inputs and move forward. Let's try and plot one more point. How about 7.7 seven seven this time? I'll select 7 on the X, 7 on the Y, hit the right button, and there we go. Point seven seven and 8.8 eight have been plotted. As well as setting individual points, we can select multiple X's and Y's, or both at the same time. Let's make a 3x3 three three cube in the top left-hand screen. I'll start by selecting my three X values, as well as my three Y values. Hit the right button, and you'll see our three by three cube's been placed. Pretty cool, right? I think so. Now we have a mighty nice graph going on here. But say we want to reset these values and clear the screen for some cooler, cooler creations. We do that by hitting this blue clear button and then this white right button. All points are gone and we can continue with our graphing. That about concludes it for the demonstration part of the video. Now let's move on to a bit more explanation of how the redstone works. We'll start with the input area, and this is an X and Y coordinate system devised by RAND OMFG. It's basically a series of AND gates where it checks if an X value and a Y value are selected. If so, it'll select the corresponding torch. This system's great and compact, so I thought I'd steal it for use in this display here. Moving on, we have the heart of the system. And that's these D flip-flops in gray and white. What these allow us to do is select an input value, either true or false, and then write it using this button here. We can change the input values all we want, and that value stored in the D flip-flop will not change. This is great since it allows us to choose multiple X and Y coordinates. In the gray and blue, we have a series of RS NOR latches. And these assure that once we pick an X and Y coordinate, we don't overwrite it on the next run. As I was creating this system, I really focused on modularity and tileability. If I were to take this, duplicate it, and place it right next to itself over here, it would work exactly as it does now. Well, that about concludes this video. As I said in the beginning, I don't exactly know what to call this system. So if you have any idea what it is, I'd love to know. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.